select these set of vertices here, go back up again, select scale, non-uniform, and move them out until they're at the edges. And you do that down all the way down. Select these two, move them out. These two we just have to move just a, a little bit. There we go. These two look pretty much right. These two got to go out a little bit. And these two. And these two. Okay, right about there. So now what we have is we have our fuselage from the front view, uh, the proper shape. So now what we got to do is we're going to have to change it on the left view. So select left view with the L key and you will notice that nothing has changed in the left view. That's because all we did was change it in the up and down and left and right. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to change these vertices to the shape. There is one issue here that you may or may not notice from looking at this diagram. All we can select is these different vertices, just like this. The problem is the shape changes so much on the left view that we don't have enough sets of vertices across here. So there's an easy way to solve that. That is simply drag this up until you go to slice plane. Now you have another selection here. Select move. And let's create some more sets of vertices. So we'll move it like this, approximately there. Click on slice. Move it up to there. Select slice. Move it to there select slice and well, that's all we'll do for now. So now we can start shaping the uh, left hand side. So I'll select these vertices right here, select non-uniform scale and basically squish it down like this. Now once again you can see that it isn't in the right place so we'll s move it down. Move it down to there. Now we select the next set of vertices non-uniform scale and there. Now I'm going to start using the shortcut keys to make this go a little bit faster for you. And in my case I've redefined the short keys and so now we squish. Actually I'm going to back that up because I just made one mistake here that uh, I'm actually going to show you something that I do all the time. Uh, that's very important that you don't do. Right now I've got uniform scale selected, or uh, non-uniform scale. If I hit the shortcut key for uh, scaling, it'll actually switch to the next one, and the next one, and the next one, just like that. So we don't want to do that. So you got to be very careful. We make sure you stay in uh, non-uniform scale. And uh, in a little while, as soon as I get this part of the fuselage done, I'll show you why that is. I'm just going to uh, finish off the fuselage here. Again, lining everything up on my background image. Now, you'll notice that we have this part of the fuselage. I'm going to take these ones for now and I'm going to move them up to here. because we can always we can always do uh, another slice of the uh, plane anyway if we need to later on which of course we are going to need to and move that down like that okay I'm going to only do that much for now basically to give you an idea of what it looks like so now the left hand side's done actually I'm going to squish this uh, the front just a little bit more down and now we've got the shape at least back to that point. So now we're going to switch to the top view and we're going to do the top view as well. And we basically squish it down and squish it down so that it's the right width. And there. 